When you hear the word typhus, you might think of epidemics that happened historically during wars or famines. Although it's no longer an epidemic, hospitals in Texas are still seeing cases, including right here in San Antonio. An emergency medicine director tells Courtney Friedman what he's seeing and how people can avoid this disease this summer. Flea infestation is always a headache, but it can also be a health hazard for you. In this area of the country, there are cases of murine typhoid or typhoid caused by flea bites. We see a lot of it here in, you know, South Texas. Uh, it's co common in certain tropical areas. So uh, parts of South America, Central America. Dr. Ralph Rivielo is the director of emergency medicine at University Hospital and says the murine typhoid is more common in warm months. He's already diagnosed several cases this summer here in San Antonio. Metro Health reports five cases since January this year, up from three last year and the same as 2021. Initial symptoms include fever, headache, and a purple diffuse rash, but it can progress to more serious neurological symptoms, including serious headache, meningitis, and confusion. Fleas feed off of animals, both strays and pets, so that's where prevention comes into play. So if you're headed outside for a while, make sure you're utilizing that bug spray and don't be petting any stray or wild animals. If you want to keep fleas out of your house, you can always use products like this to continuously spray your yard to keep them out and also be putting that preventative flea and tick medication on your pets. If you do get flea bites, just watch for those symptoms, which typically show up about seven to 10 days after the bite. If we assume or presume somebody may have it, we go ahead and offer the treatment uh, because it is a simple antibiotic that can be taken orally. So if you develop symptoms, head to the doctor and make sure you tell them about recent flea bites. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.